So it says how many many valence electrons does does nitrogen does nitrogen have? So uh, take a moment to think about this question. Um, particularly in, in this topic of what is a valence electron. So when we talk about what is a valence, so you have to, in order for us to answer this question, we have to think about what is a valence electron and how does that differ from uh, an electron? And then we also have to think about our, um, where does nitrogen lie on the periodic table? And I'll, after a minute or so, I'll tell you where it kind of lies on the uh, periodic table. Actually, maybe I can, uh, I can put this here, so you can, I can I can kind of show you here um, in terms of the periodic table. So it says here, how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? So again, take a moment to think about this question, and then we'll take we'll uh, uh, reconvene in about a minute, and uh, you can think about this question. As we, if you're in the chat, again, we can wave hi, and you can answer the question if you want to help me out, um, or you can kind of uh, or you can kind of uh, kind of just listen in and uh, see. And if you're uh, unfamiliar with this concept or if you're familiar, you can feel free to. Uh, kind of uh, type your answer out in the chat if you're there. So it says, how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? So when we're talking about valence electrons, we're talking about this topic of electrons that exist on the outside shell, right? So if you think back from the grade nine, Think about, about Bull Rutherford diagrams. Uh, grade nine uh, general science, or uh, in this case, it would be freshman year of uh, science for the U.S. Um, you have valence electrons, which are basically electrons that what they exist uh, on on the outer shell, right? At, on the outer shell, or in the outer shell. Sorry, in the outer shell. Uh, outer shell in terms of uh, because we're only working with uh, Bohr Rutherford diagrams. I'm using the word shell and not energy level, so um, that's kind of what uh, the terminology is for grade uh, from grade nine to grade eleven. So what I could do is I can draw a Bohr Rutherford diagram. Right? We're we're pretty familiar with this with grade nine. We have a nitrogen here. We have nitrogen here. It has. Um, I can find using my periodic table where nitrogen lies. It's a non-metal, so it's on the right hand right hand side. So this here is n. Um, this here it has seven. Seven protons, right? So let's say seven p. I'll just I'll just write n, n here. So if it has seven protons, it means I have seven electrons as well, right? So I have nitrogen here, which means I have seven. I have to fit seven electrons in our Bohr Rutherford, right? So this is a bad circle, actually. Sorry. Uh, I feel like there's a tool that makes a circle. Oh, there is. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, this is so much nicer. That's one. Oh, look at this technology. That's two. I'm gonna need three as well. Oh look, I'm so this is so much nicer. Oh <laughs> I'm so happy with these circles. Okay, so there's uh seven electrons, right? So let me uh let me remove the circle tool here. There's seven electrons. There's seven electrons here. So we have we have uh two electrons in the first shell. So we have one and two here, and then we're gonna have uh so if I have two electrons in the first shell, I'm going to have to have five electrons in my uh, second shell, right? So I'm going to write one here. Oh, let me do this in red because this is these will become our valence electrons here. One, two, three, four, and five, right? So again, I have here five, seven electrons in total. I have two in the first shell and five in the second shell as denoted in the red, right? So our valence electrons in this case um, would be our outer shell, right? So, um, which means, therefore, my answer here is I have five valence electrons, electrons in nitrogen, right? And we can verify this answer by um, by simply just looking at our periodic, periodic table. So, what we can do is we can look at a periodic table here. We find that nitrogen here is here, right? And we know the rule in terms of uh, uh, we our, our group our group rule, right? So, if I mean group one, I have one valence electron. Group two has two. Group 13 has 3, 14 has 4, 15 has 5, 16 has 6, 17 has 7, and 18 has 8, right? Or in terms of uh, neon has, or neon, neon itself has 8 in the outer shell, right? So in terms of nitrogen here, 
um, we have, it, it's a, it lies on group 15, so therefore uh, it has five valence electrons. You can look at the last digit. That's kind of the little cheat uh, for the, with the periodic, periodic table. So with that, our answer here is five valence electrons. This here is five valence electrons. So this here is our answer for this problem. So let me put this, throw this back here. So this here, let's see it from McGill University. The student says, those electrons are electrons present in the outermost orbit of the atom, which are involved in the chemical properties. That's good. You can find the number of electrons by analyzing periodic table. That's good. So they include that as well. Nitrogen is, is in the group 5A, which is great. So valence electron is 5. Um, that's good. You can also use the electron configuration. You can use that as well. Um, but we don't really know the electron configuration. We don't do that till grade 12 chemistry. So I'm only going to use kind of grade 11 chemistry in this case. Um, so don't worry about electron configuration. But they did they get the question right. And they said five electrons in the, or in, the, in the outermost orbital of nitrogen here. So this solution here is correct. It's correct. And great logic.